can you tell me a bit about what COPE does? Okay, uh, COPE is a, a local project and we filed in 1997 and COPE is a stand for cooperative, orthotic and prosthetics enterprise. We are providing prosthetics for prosthetic limb for the people who have been uh, injured by bombs. Okay. And also pass a bad like traffic accident, mm -hmm. uh, leprosy, polio and also clock food. Because we also have a rehabilitation center. Okay. Okay. So you say you help, um, you, you provide prosthetics for people that have been injured by bombs. Yes. Tell me a bit about the bomb problem in Laos. Oh, it's a big problem, is uh, you know, like about uh, the in the Vietnam War that they call it's a secret war, like Indo China conflict. And most bombs were dropped in Laos more than other country, uh, even compared to the Second World War. Mm. We're talking about the uh, capital. And they drop is uh, 19 different kinds of bricks so in Laos, and they also drop uh, 260 million of the cluster bomb. Yeah, they drop uh, the bomb, big bombing mission every eight minutes per day. Yeah, for for nine years. Wow. There's a uh, right now is uh, the cluster bomb. You know when they drop it, 30 percent they did not detonate. That's why they still contaminate area. That's incredible. Yeah, and uh, about. Over 70 million still contaminated area okay. in Laos, like about 13 provinces. Okay. Out of 17 provinces, have bombed everywhere. Okay. So, what's the population of Laos? Um, right now we have 6.5. Okay. So there, there's more bombs than people yes. in Laos. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. That's incredible. So, um, how often would Coke receive reports that are that are of a bomb incident where a UXO mm -hmm. has exploded? Uh, we receive the most of them is every month. We receive the people uh, get injured by bomb. Like three three years ago, like we have uh, many people have been injured, have been killed by the cluster bomb. Is three hundred people per year, mm. like one per day. Wow. So after three years now, uh, we still over hundred people. Okay. So over thirty five percent the people have come to Hope Clinic because okay. they are injured by by bombs. Wow. So, how do these undetonated bombs that America dropped during the Vietnam War, how do they affect the everyday lives of the villagers um, in Laos today? That's a very good question. Uh, because, you know, like, uh, when the area, remote area, when the bombs, they drop, they still contaminate area. And when the villager, they go to uh, collect herb, uh, plant some things. So, we got also, you know, like 80% of our people, we are farmers. That's why when they digging the grass and grow up the lights and they cannot use. So even they make a fire, and that's also happened. So of course it's a problem for a lot of people. Yeah. So they're not able to farm the land because no. there could possibly be bombs, yes, and there risky. most probably yes. will be bombs yeah. everywhere. Wow. And can you tell me how the bombs have become part of the everyday life for for Lao villagers? So like for example the scrap metal trade. For the that that that. Uh, part is that uh, you know like uh, at the remote area they are really poor also and also many uh, children uh, when they uh, mostly at the remote area they you know no school mm. um, like two three years ago also right like now many many things happening and uh, they just no money they just go to scrap metal collect mm -hmm. the metal for selling because they have a company who want to buy it okay yeah so how much would you get for a piece of scrap metal uh, roughly? one kilo about three thousand kid but okay that, that, that's a lot and uh, that could feed a family yes, for, of course, for a couple because of some someday they can get like 100 kilo over 100 kilo because the metal is everywhere okay yeah, metal everywhere. wow and so they don't know that it's warm they just think that okay just metal because mm. in, in, in their mind they just think like okay if i have a metal so I can sell it because they pay cash, you know? Yeah. So they they really encouraging them yeah. to, to do it. Yeah. And you also told me earlier that kids um, see the bombs and sometimes think they're flowers or, mm -hmm. or balls to play with. Yeah, the the thing is that uh, you know the cluster bomb is different from landmine. The cluster bomb when they drop it, like some some kinds uh, they call it a BLU uh, tree. Mm -hmm. The the common name is a pineapple. Okay. That one is a uh, the color is a uh, uh, yellow. So when they drop it, sometimes they just stuck on on the tree, mm -hmm. and then when the even adult people when they go to the jungle, they just hunting uh, anymore. So when they see that color at the tree, they are curious to know, okay. and especially about the children when they see on on the grass and the, some of the the bush of the tree, they gonna 
go directly to task because they think that it's a tool. Americans dropped more bombs on this small country than the amount of bombs that were dropped in World War II. Yeah. And the effects are still being felt in huge amounts yes. until now. Are the people of Laos angry at the Americans? Uh, I can tell you directly about this question. It's a, it's a Lao people, they ignore. And if you can, you can ask many people, Lao people right now, they're not angry at all. Because why? Because something making something happened in the past. You cannot change. You cannot change. So if you keep it, that means you are suffering. You are really limit person. You know, like the part is a you cannot change. So the, the thing is a prison now is very important. So if you want to go to the future, you have to do now, right? So you, if you do now, then you communicate. Even we are different country. Of course, we are different languages, but mm. we can communicate each other. Yeah. Then we can. The the thing is, if, even you don't know to each other another language, you just smile. Yeah. When you smile, is a directly that is a call gonna come be yeah. a good friend. Okay. So the, can you tell us about the most recent incident with the with the unexploded UXO? Okay. Um, that's a really see the message from the from the NI is um, the last government they work for the UXO and uh, the way to the south in Savannakhet province they have uh, seven children and just only a few weeks ago because they they call and they make a fire on the garden and just live to their house her sister is a 28 year old just make a fire for their two year old five year old and then when they make a fire the the fire start burn and the temperature of fire hit on the ground and hit the bomb underneath. Oh, wow. the, the bomb will explode and then kill four of them immediately. Three year old, uh, four year old, uh, five year old and also six year old. Simple as that. Yeah. And then three of them injured. Yeah. And also, you know, like many, many, many cases happen like mm. they also last year they had like, the boy, they, they took, he took his buffalo to the field and he had a stick. I to hit on the ground to tie the rope of the buffalo and then stick hit the bombs. Wow. The bomb explode. Oh wow. So this is an ongoing problem. It's killing people still in their yes. playoffs. Why? I mean, I come from Australia. I didn't know much about it before I came here. Why do you think not so many people know about it outside of Laos? Um, because I think um, the that they, they call secret war, you know, and no magazine uh, tell about what what is the problem in Laos. And most, most, most of the journalists or the magazine they talking about Vietnam War. That's why people focus only Vietnam War. Mm. They're not talking about Laos. Yeah. yeah that's so Laos were kind of forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks very much, Dan. Yeah, no You've problem. definitely taught us a lot. And and to, to, would you like to tell any, everybody about anything about COPE? We also help for free. You know, provide for free, lake for free. So if you support COPE, like example, like here the lake here. This they cost only seventy five dollar. So you you just provide buy one leg for person who lost the the leg, even one leg or two legs. So that means you not help only one person. You know you help whole family of them. So wow. if they have five people, that means you help whole the family. It's, it's a very good thing. Yeah. It's also you know seventy five dollar. They make them change their lives forever.